guys, it's Judy and I have a card process um, to show you today. And this is a card I made for Rashida. Hi Rashida, she is Rose Flower 317 and I had made it for her for her birthday last month. So I'm finally getting around to show you the process video. So I am using from the Greeting Farm um, the Picture Perfect Anya, which has Anya and Ian, but um, I just kind of inked up Anya and I will do some Copic coloring. So um, I always, I use um, Nina Solar White cardstock, which I had bought like a huge ream of it, so I have a ton of it um, from, I think, I believe Ellen H, uh, not Ellen H, uh, Ellen Hudson's, yeah, store. So um, I always stamp it, the image itself, in Memento Tuxedo Black when using Copic so it, the ink will not bleed. I have used a VersaFine and if you're really careful it should be fine too um, or you let it dry enough. But anyway the skin colors I always use if you follow my videos it's E000 and E53 and the hair I am using E55, E57 and E59. I will show them with the caps um, as I go along. So she will be a brunette and just trying to flick out. I usually like kind of do the crown first um, wherever I think the dark areas will be and um, and usually around the curves are where you know I have the darker colors. So I do the darkest to the middle color and then to the lightest color. Sorry I'm out of frame. I kind of realize I think so I just kind of surround, you know, each one and um, the dark colors with that middle color and then finally the last color. And um, so it all blends really nicely. So I go back in after the lightest, then I go back with this middle color and then the darkest again. And usually I use the darkest color to kind of add, you know, all the shadows or where I think will be the dark areas or um, just to kind of define it a little more. My flicks are a little thick. Um, I've seen other videos where they are so nice where it's, um, I, I think it's all in the technique of how you flip and how your touch is, light, or, light touch or hard touch. I think I have a heavy hand, so um, my flicks are kind of thick. But anyways, um, my recommendations if you're looking, you're just starting at um, Copic coloring and um, you know, you can't afford it or, or, you know, you're on a budget, definitely skin tones. I think invest in your skin tones first because they really make a difference when you're trying to color, especially if you're going to, I mean, the other markers you could use different markers for, but I think skin tones um, are really important when you're starting out because um, you don't want it too blotchy. Um, and they all are, all of the markers are refillable, so you can you know, uh, questions about the round, which are the um, chow markers, the round barrels versus the oval ones, which actually have the the colors on the caps itself. Those are the sketch markers. And the sketch have a bigger barrel, so um, they're supposed to hold more. But um, you can refill both the smaller barrel, the chow in the round, and the ovals. Um, so, I mean, the oval one is convenient when you're doing process videos so you can show the cap instead of, you know, you know, like how I do it, the middle. Um, so, um, but basically, oh, I, I didn't even sh tell you the colors. <laughs> the colors, I think R20 I use for the cheeks, and then the dress is probably R29 and R39. Those are my go-to reds. And then the uh, the sil the camera, silver or gray, is probably, um, um, what you will call it, probably a C1 or 2 or 3, <laughs> one of the, the lighter Cs, but I'm just fussy cutting. So as I was saying, um, investing, they all, they all are refillable. So skin tones are the main ones that I use and the hair colors are the ones I use because if you color greeting farm stamps, you can see it is, um, a lot of area and with my heavy hand it kind of you know um, gets used up pretty quick so I just use the black marker for the Copic black I forget what color 
number it is. But anyways, um, like I was saying, you can refill them. So you can just get, I usually just get the smaller uh, barrel, those chow, because they are like a buck cheaper or so, I think. I haven't bought a marker in a while. But um, if you do that and then just buy the refill, and the refills, all you have to do is add a few drops and it fills it up and then it comes in like a whole tube. So enough of my whole info about Copics. But here, this is a Unity stamp that I love. It's a background image and it's about all the cameras. So um, I know Rashida loves cameras and she loves red. I believe red and black, but so I had her in mind when I did this. So because it is for her and I, I love embossing my background images. So I use my Versamark, um, which is pretty much like a glue stamp. And then you just um, stamp it up um, onto your base. And then this is gold embossing powder. Um, I really don't know what brand I used. Um, it might be Recollections, I think. And I don't think it's a detail one, though I would love all my, if you can get it, get all your embossing in detail because it really makes a difference, I think. But that's how it looks with the gold embossed um, for the background. And then I I did fussy cut the Anya stamps. And then this is a regular A2 size card. So because the cameras were more of a landscape um, or a horizontal stamp, um, I had to put it on the card horizontally rather than um, vertically in the portrait. So I will be cutting off some of it, but I didn't want it to take the whole take up the whole um, card anyway. So you, I usually um, like to leave or have a um, like three quarters down, have a little um, a different either pattern paper or some kind of just to cut off the background, not cut off, just so the image that you are using as a focal point um, doesn't look like it's floating. If you see, you'll notice all my cards I have, like the main image, um, kind of like that, <laughs> sitting like that. So they don't look floated. It's so to ground the image, basically. So you'll see I matted um, the black card base is the card base, and then the white is a mat for that um, the red embossed background. So I am probably looking for something. I don't know. I'm um, I'm looking for a sentiment. Sorry, it's gonna like a long pause um, to put on the stamp, and it is a birthday card. So I end up looking and finding my Emma. Creative time, my creative time, um, the Emma stamps, which I love. They, I think Peachy Keen produces them, or it's the same quality as Peachy Keen, but um, she makes the cutest stuff in good quality. So um, there was like a camera stamp set I showed you, a, a camera shy or something. And here I am, it's because it says something um, smile, uh, but I use masking tape or washi tape to. Um, kind of uh, mask off the other words um, on the sentiment. So that's usually what I do. So I mask off on the stamp itself, ink it up, and then peel off the washi so you don't get the excess um, ink on the, the letters you don't want. So I want you to use that tag punch, but the paper itself was too small to put into those squeeze punches, so I just washi taped it to a bigger piece of paper so I had something to hold. That's a, another tip um, in case you, you do have a smaller card. And then here I am just kind of outlining because it looked kind of bare. Sometimes outlining kind of helps pop things up. You see it really um, makes a difference there. I just use my Mento Black ink and put that there um, and then there I go zooming in so all I'm doing is just adhering everything with my ATG um, so I like it and I don't like center it or anything I, I like that it's on off to the side so I do it like that and then because the sentiment is also going to do that and I popped out that using this the 
mm, the tape I get from Big Lots, which I love because it's not too thick. I don't like things too thick, especially if I'm going to mail stuff. This is in a package, so it didn't really matter, but I do like it um, shorter. Not uh, thinner, not shorter, thinner. So I popped out her. Of course, I was thinking about using uh, Action Wobble, but I said, no, let me hold off. And Wink of Stella in Clear, which I love. So I put glitter all over her hair, um, her eyeshadow, everywhere. <laughs> her her frou-frou dress and then the camera. And um, they add a nice glitter, but it doesn't, it's not dimensional. It doesn't pop up like stickles do. So this is my finished card. And then inside I say, it's your birthday. So smile, it's your birthday or happy birthday. So hope you guys like it. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all you new subbies. And thanks for commenting. Bye, guys.